James Kaufman will News report today. Today is November 3rd, 2023, 2 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had an absolutely huge filament eruption, and we have an inbound coronal mass ejection headed directly towards Earth, a very, very strong one, as we will see on the NASA Goodard model in just a second. We had a full halo eruption based on the filament eruption you're seeing here. Huge filament eruption, direct hit for Earth on November 5th, 2023. We've had a full halo coral mass ejection. Aurora watchers should get their hopes up. This morning, November 3rd, chronographs on board the Solar and Helospheric Observatory, SOHO, detected a full halo coral mass ejection. The storm cloud is headed directly for Earth. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this halo eruption covered hours of time. As you can see here, unbelievable. The cloud was hurled into space by an erupting filament, a very long magnetic filament in the sun's northern hemisphere. That is what NOAA had to say. NASA has put up this Goodard is with spiral, a NASA model of the coronal mass ejection, suggests it will arrive between 12 UTC time and 1800 UTC time on November 5th. Two minor CMEs could precede it with glancing blows on November 4th, tomorrow. Those are going to be from the film interruption, I know you remember from yesterday, and the M1.67 solar flare, an associated coronal mass ejection, that we saw also pop off directly Earth-facing yesterday. ISWA is calling this out as some blast. I want y'all to look down here, 60 centimeters cubed, and you'll see that it turns black. It seems to strengthen as it makes its way further away from its source, which makes zero sense. You can see it is completely black. They're expecting 60 plus centimeters cubed off the charts. Earth is a little yellow ball here. It is orbiting the sun at 67,000 miles an hour, and all this stuff's coming right at you, being pulled by the sun at 544,000 miles an hour. And this just shows you it's going to be a direct hit on the 5th, and they're expecting two more hits at some point tomorrow. Now, what do we see here with this? Well, we have Psyche. We have all, all of our Stereo A. We have Solo right here. We have Osiris Rex. All kind of things are in danger of being hit by this very powerful coronal mass ejection. Meanwhile, our star has become very complex again. We have what looks like seven named Earth-facing sunspots. But when you really look harder, we might have an eighth one here and a ninth one coming around the limb as we speak. So we are very busy, and most of the sunspots would have an Earth component to them if they were to flare. Two of the sunspots are complex. That would be AR3474 here and AR3477 here. And why didn't we see anything whatsoever during any of that time period here on our GOES X-ray flux because it was a filament eruption and not a solar flare. Two completely different animals. We do see the M flare that they're expecting very short term. They're expecting it at some point tomorrow. And this, this right here was a filament eruption as well. So, what we're looking at here is two filament eruptions and an M flare all inbound for late on the 4th into the 5th. God bless each and every one of you guys. Please share, please subscribe, and always remember, while that is some filament eruption, anything is possible in bizarro world. You could arguably say it started up here and wrapped 
all the way around our sun. Buckle up, buttercups. The fourth and fifth, especially the fifth, should be, well, a day to remember. God bless each and every one of y'all.